What's up guys, Raiden here, and what you're seeing in the top right corner of your screen is not a mistake or a typo, it does in fact say demolition. Now you can use this time to go ahead and do whatever it is you do when you get excited, whether it's a gasp or whether you say something like, oh my god, but it is demolition and I know this is the first as far as pub matches go. I know that I uploaded the demolition game that was GB, but this is a pub match, even though it's a 4v4, it was because it was a team tack game. So you see right off the bat, um, I picked the scar with Marathon because I know we're on offense and we're going to try and rush. And right off the bat, you see we kind of push A because we real we we felt like that was the hardest bomb to, to get first. So you see there that Mike already plants A first, and... Within the first 30 seconds of the match, not even 30 seconds, we're already planting a one bomb site. So I, I know that my teammates can pretty much cover A by themselves, so I flank around to, uh, to B to try and get a plant on B while they're worried about A. So I go up in the back of the plane, and there's a guy guarding the front, but he wasn't watching his flank, and luckily I'm able to plant, but unfortunately I think I get, yeah, I get knifed. So that kind of sucked, and I spawned right by B, which was pretty fortunate. So my teammates are over at A, but I think I think they end up defusing A while I'm planting right now. But well, to take a break from the gameplay real quick, um, I'm recording this commentary <clears throat> on my blue snowball mic that I got a couple days ago. Uh, I pr probably would have waited longer between my COD4 commentary and this one just because I don't like uploading commentaries really close together, but... I really wanted to test out the blue snowball and see how it worked, so I thought I'd upload this game. This was the game I was talking about that was the demolition game. And, uh, I actually edited the next Funtage that's going to be coming out on my channel and a couple nights ago. I'm not sure, not really sure when I'm going to upload that, to be honest. I'm trying to decide if I should be a dick and wait till I get a certain number of subscribers or if I should just upload it right now. We got some pretty funny clips, and to me, they're they're funny. Like I chuckle every time I watch them, but that's because I've seen them over and over again. But I'm I'm hoping that you guys will find them funny, because I mean, we definitely were laughing pretty hard those couple of days that we were recording for the Funtage. And my friends are usually really good sports about doing stuff like running around with right shields and stingers and dying or even losing a match now and then. And to be honest, we we usually will go if we're We'll go, you know, mess around with right shields or singers uh, until we're down 3-1, and then we'll pull out real guns and usually come back and win. Just to show them that we, you know, we're messing around because a lot of people start talking crap or start laughing at us like, oh, you guys suck, and they don't realize that we're not trying. We're running around with right shields and stingers. But, uh, so see there that we we win on offense, and uh, I switched to the FAMAS because I've I made this... Um, I don't, I'm trying to think of what to say here. I made this obvious in other matches. I've talked about switching from automatic weapons to semi-automatic. I just feel like the FAMAS is more of a stationary weapon, so it's good for defense, whereas any weapon like the ACR, or maybe not the ACR, but the TAR or the SCAR are really good for offense because they're fully automatic and they have pretty good stopping power. So Choose the FAMAS for defense and the scavenger because I know we're probably going to be holding them off for a long time. And these guys weren't very organized at all. Um, I think these guys were talking smack a couple games before this, and we decided to go GB try hard and, and try and win this match, and we ended up winning. But right there I get RPG'd, and I get RPG'd one more time, and those are my only three deaths. So two of my deaths for this game were from RPGs, which is pretty gay, and I was kind of pissed off about that, but, you know, what can you do? Scrubs will be scrubs. So, see here that they planned B on us, and I'm trying to flank around and defuse it, and I think they get B. And I think they probably should have rushed A first, because in my mind, A is the hardest bomb site to get on this map. Mainly because it's really easy to defend. I mean, B, if you plant and have two people guarding the bomb, it, you know, it's pretty much gone. That's why B is really easy to plant on if you're on offense. But it... On defense, A is really easy to defend because there's a lot of ways you can cover from. 
They, only, they really only have three ways to go. They can come through the hallway, they can come from Burger Town, or they can come from the outside, like where I am right now, if they flank the escalators. But these guys weren't very organized. They didn't. They never flanked escalators. I mean, they tried once or twice, but I stopped them usually. They usually just kept trying to run from Burger Town, and uh, see right there, there's two guys coming from the same way. That's not very smart because we're defending and we're watching out from that way, and they can't all rush the same way because that's that's not going to get anything done. But we're holding down A so far, and uh, I'm running 357 like I usually do if I'm not going for a major amount of kills. But uh, back to what I was saying about the, the Funtage. Um, a lot of my ideas for that Funtage actually come from, not, not a lot of them, some of them do, come from a crew called the Lag X crew. And if you don't know who they are, just... I'll put a link in the description to uh, this guy's channel, but this guy and his clan specialize in making funtages, and they're the best funtages I've ever seen. So some ideas on my f uh, my upcoming funtage you'll see that are kind of similar if you do in fact go check out this guy's channel, but I don't want to take credit for some of these ideas because they weren't originally mine to begin with, but I just wanted to, to use them because I wanted to experience it with my own friends and... Um, see if it was any funnier in, in person and it was so uh, some ideas that you know I got were from that channel so I'll put a link in his description and when I upload the funtage I'll probably put an annotation and when a clip starts saying you know inspired by log X or something like that because I don't want to take credit for a really funny idea that's not mine so and I got some more COD 4 clips the other night uh, Got a quad spray with the MP5, which I was pretty excited about, and a few more clips, so... For some reason, it's just easier for me to get COD 4 clips, because Modern Warfare 2, I think I have, like, three clips. So, Modern Warfare 2, I definitely need to start going for montage clips, but since I've started a little bit of a channel here, I mean, i got a decent amount of subscribers. That compared to, you know, any of the big names, Hutch or c Nanners or Tabe, who have, like, 100... 50 grand each, but, you know, compared to them, I have nothing, but 126 is still a lot of people, in my mind, and, uh, ever since I started getting the, ever since my channel started growing, I should say, um, I've been focused more on gameplays rather than montage clips, but I've actually gotten three or four gameplays within the past couple days, so I'm good on gameplays for a little while, and... One of those gameplays is going to be used in a clan commentary. Uh, I think it's going to be posted either on the clan channel or desserts channel. But either way, I'll probably give you guys the link, a link to that once that comes out, or once we do that. But now that I've got a few gameplays saved on my computer, I'm probably just going to try and go for montage clips now because I don't really have any. And I love going for montage clips because it's a really great feeling when you, you know, you you know that you just got a clip because it's just. If you get a quad nade or, you know, a really good four piece or something like that, it's a really good feeling. And I get nervous every time I'm, I think I'm on the montage clip if I'm, like, I think I'm about to get one because I'll have, like, a few beast shots or a few nice plays and then I'll start, like, getting anxious and looking around for more people to kill just to make it a montage clip. And for some reason, it's like every time I'm getting ready to get a clip, I just get raped by an LMG. It's always an LMG for some reason, but, you know, what can you do? That's part of this game. It's part of getting montage clips is the frustration that goes into getting them and not getting them, really. Anyway, guys, it's the end of the game. My final score was, I think that says 32-3, and three, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Later. Just copy that. Get off, guys.